Welcome everyone. I'm Kimberly Boschman, and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at each life path number forecast for August 2023. Before we get into that, this of course is a general forecast. If you would like your own personal year ahead forecast, diamond forecast, your compatibility report with another person, your full numerology report, your business report, numerology has you covered. Just book some time with me. Uh, My information is in the description box below and let's take a look. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the August forecast for each individual life path number. Life path number two. So I pulled an animal wisdom message for you all and you got tortoise energy. There's a lot that kind of comes through with this energy. There's definitely that energy of resilience, sort of having staying power. You know, you think about the tortoise, they can live to be hundreds of years old. (laughs) Um, They definitely have staying power, right? But there's also this energy of protection, coming through. So whether that's um, you protecting yourself from an environment that maybe isn't or hasn't been uh, very healthy for you, um, or someone coming in to offer some kind of protection. So that could be you know, very literal to the point of getting health insurance or something like that, or getting a, a, having a great opportunity for some kind of like legal protection or health insurance or something like that, or getting, you know, needing a lawyer and finding a great lawyer. Uh, that's very possible. I'm kind of going down this route because you all are working with eight energy this month, which I'll talk about in a moment, but it can bring up like legal proceedings or um, contracts, that sort of thing. So with tortoise coming through, I'm just thinking about the shell and how they kind of go into their shell for safety. There may be something where you are looking to add protection to something, whether it's like a homeowner's insurance or something like that. The other thing I would say is uh, definitely make sure if you're buying or selling a home or property or something like that, that you are getting a second opinion, that you're having someone look at that, uh, just to make sure that you're protected um, and that uh, everything looks good. The other thing is because with tortoise, there's that energy of the shell and the home, Again, there could be something that comes up around the home this month that needs your attention, Um, but it could be as simple as buying or selling a home because like I said, you're also in eight energy. Um, I would say the home probably for you all may be a big focus this month. And also I would say um, to not, or to kind of shy away from avoidance, right? Especially as twos. Two energy is a very highly sensitive energy. And so it can be, especially along the journey, very difficult for twos to be very decisive because they don't want to rock the boat. They don't want to create conflict. So it's easier to to sort of avoid than to face the problem, whatever that is. And so with tortoise energy, I would say, you know, in order to have that sort of staying power to be very solid in sort of your own space, Uh, Sometimes we need to face those issues, whatever they are, and have those conversations and make decisions from a place that's healthy for everyone involved and not sort of go into your shell to avoid that conflict or having that more difficult conversation. Uh, Let's see. The other thing I would say with tortoise coming through is there may be some things where you need to pace yourself. So move a little bit more slowly, make sure you're sort of observing the situation before you sort of jump to conclusions or before you jump to make a decision about something. Um, Especially because like I said, you're working with eight energy this month. So with this eight energy, again, it can really bring into focus anything within the physical realm that is significant for us. So money, resources, power, status, influence, any of those things, empowerment. Um, So it may be that you are facing, especially within the home environment, some kind of power struggle or some kind of battle of wills, where I would say, again, it's going to serve you best to find a way to move through the issue and not to try to avoid it and not to be easily influenced in one way or another, but to really stand your ground and be very like solid within your uh, own foundation. And again, the 
with the eight energy, there's just the, the energy of like power plays, power struggles. And so this would be very relevant if you're like going through a divorce and it's a messy divorce or something like that. And so um, I would say just really make sure that there's integrity behind whatever it is that you're doing. And that will ensure that however the chips may fall, uh, eventually they will fall in favor of integrity, right? So maybe not right off the bat, but eventually. So like tortoise, slow and steady wins the race. Just make sure that there's integrity behind it and that you're owning your space. Um, <clears throat> the other thing is make sure this month that you're sort of aware of your own power um, and your own influence that you may have over another, whether it's children or um, if you're in some kind of a management role or leadership role, the influence that you may have over others. And with that influence or power comes great responsibility so make sure that there's, again, integrity behind that um, and just make sure that you're not sort of abusing that power. I'm sure you're not twos, but I'm just putting that out there because eight energy can sort of highlight where it is that um, either we need to sort of get our power back if someone's trying to have power over us or where we may be sort of... Um, flexing that, that muscle a little bit too much. And so we just need to make sure that we, you know, our why has integrity behind it. Uh, the other thing is finances. You may see some finances sort of, um, change that have to do with the home and the home environment, um, can be an increase in finances, can be a decrease, but whatever it is, uh, it's meant to show us something. So if it's a increase in finances, then how are we going to use that increase in finances? How are we going to circulate it? How are we going to do good with it? Um, how are we going to manage it? What is our relationship with it? Do we have a fear of success? Do we have a fear of being wealthy or whatever, the, or a fear of abundance, right? Or if we are sort of seeing money slip through our fingers and it's, it's more lack, is there something around lack mentality? Is there something around mismanagement of funds? Whatever the case may be. But there's usually something that can be learned from the experiences in life, right? So not everything is a lesson, but um, usually when we're moving through an eight cycle, there's something that's going to come up around money, finances, or resources that needs our attention or um, that sort of uh, rewards or payment for uh, the work that we've put forth as well as achieving a greater vision. So for you all, I think it's going to have a lot to do with the home and um, things may surface around the home that uh, need to be addressed or taken care of. Or again, you could see if you've been trying to sell your home, this might be the month that it sells and you get rewarded nicely for that. So uh, pay attention to whatever comes up for you, definitely around the home or around relationships where it's been sort of easier to avoid or just not deal with the situation because I think this month you're going to have to deal with it. Uh, so, but it's how you deal with it, of course, that will get the either the best or not so great results. So I hope it is a beautiful month for you all too. So I think it's going to be a powerful one. Uh, so pay attention to what comes up for you and uh, slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Bye for now.